CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 7 Fractions Page 133 Part 1 7.1 Introduction Subhash had learnt about fractions in classes 4 and 5 so whenever possible, he would try to use fractions. One occasion was when he forgot his lunch at home. His friend Farida invited him to share her lunch. She had five puris in her lunch box. So, Subhash and Farida took two puris each. Then, Farida made two equal halves of the fifth puri and gave one half to Subhash and took the other half herself. Thus, both Subhash and Farida had two full puris and one half puri. Where do you come across situations with fractions in your life? Subhash knew that one half is written as one upon two. While eating, he further divided his half puri into two equal parts and asked Farida what fraction of the whole puri was that piece? Figure 7.1 Without answering, Farida also divided her portion of the half puri into two equal parts and kept them beside Subhash's shares. She said that these four equal parts together make one whole. Figure 7.2 Page 134 So each equal part is one-fourth of one whole puri and four parts together will be four upon four, or one whole puri. When they ate, they discussed what they had learnt earlier. Three parts out of four equal parts is three upon four. Similarly, three upon seven is obtained when we divide a whole into seven equal parts, and take three parts. Figure 7.3 for 1 upon 8, we divide a whole into 8 equal parts and take one part out of it. Figure 7.4 Farida said that we have learnt that a fraction is a number representing part of a whole. The whole may be a single object or a group of objects. Subhash observed that the parts have to be equal. 7.2 A Fraction let us recapitulate the discussion. A fraction means a part of a group or of a region. 5 upon 12 is a fraction. We read it as 5 twelfths. What does 12 stand for? It is the number of equal parts into which the whole has been divided. What does 5 stand for? It is the number of equal parts which have been taken out. Here, 5 is called the numerator and 12 is called the denominator. Name the numerator of 3 seventh and the denominator of 4 fifteenth. Play this game. You can play this game with your friends. Take many copies of the grid as shown here. Consider any fraction, say half. Each one of you should shade half of the grid. Page 135 Exercise 7.1 1. Write the fraction representing the shaded portion. 2. Color the part according to the given fraction. 1. 1 sixth 2. 1 fourth 3. 1 third 4. 3 fourth 5, 4 ninth. Page 136 3. Identify the error, if any. We have three figures here. This is half. This is one-fourth. This is three-fourth. 4. What fraction of a day is eight hours? 5. What fraction of an hour is forty minutes? 6. Arya, Abhimanyu and Vivek shared lunch. 
Arya has brought two sandwiches, one made of vegetable and one of jam. The other two boys forgot to bring their lunch. Arya agreed to share his sandwiches so that each person will have an equal share of each sandwich. A. How can Arya divide his sandwiches so that each person has an equal share? B. What part of a sandwich will each boy receive? 7. Kanchan dyes dresses. She had to dye 30 dresses. She has so far finished 20 dresses. What fraction of dresses has she finished? 8. Write the natural numbers from 2 to 12. What fraction of them are prime numbers? 9. Write the natural numbers from 102 to 113. What fraction of them are prime numbers? 10. What fraction of these circles have X's in them? 11. Kristen received a CD player for her birthday. She bought three CDs and received five others as gifts. What fraction of her total CDs did she buy and what fraction did she receive as gifts? 7.3 Fraction on the number line You have learned to show whole numbers like 0, 1, 2, etc. on a number line. We can also show fractions on a number line. Let us draw a number line and try to mark half on it. We know that half is greater than zero and less than one, so it should lie between zero and one. Since we have to show half, we divide the gap between zero and one into two equal parts and show one part as half, as shown in the figure 7.5. Page 137 Suppose we want to show one-third on a number line. Into how many equal parts should the length between 0 and 1 be divided? We divide the length between 0 and 1 into three equal parts and show one part as one-third, as shown in the figure 7.6. Can we show two-third on this number line? Two-third means two parts out of three parts, as shown, figure 7.7. .7. Similarly, how would you show 0 upon 3 and 3 upon 3 on this number line? 0 upon 3 is the point 0, whereas, since 3 upon 3 is one whole, it can be shown by the point 1, as shown in figure 7.7. .7. So, if we have to show 3 7th on a number line, then into how many equal parts should the length between 0 and 1 be divided? If P shows 3 7th, then how many equal divisions lie between 0 and P? Where do 0 upon 7 and 7 upon 7 lie? Try these. 1. Show 3 5th on a number line. 2. Show 1 tenth, 0 upon 10, 5 tenth and 10 upon 10 on a number line. 3. Can you show any other fraction between 0 and 1? Write 5 more fractions that you can show and depict them on the number line. 4. How many fractions lie between 0 and 1? Think, discuss and write your answer. Page 138 7.4. Proper Fractions You have now learned how to locate fractions on a number line. Locate the fractions 3 fourth, half, 9 tenth, 0 upon 3, 5 eighth on separate number lines. Does any one of the fractions lie beyond 1? All these fractions lie to the left of 1 as they are less than 1. In fact, all the fractions we have learned so far are less than 1. These are proper fractions. A proper fraction, as Farida said, section 7.1, is a number representing part of a whole. In a proper fraction, the denominator shows the number of parts into which the whole is divided and the numerator shows the number of parts which have been considered. Therefore, in a proper fraction, 
the numerator is always less than the denominator. Try these. 1. Give a proper fraction. A. Whose numerator is 5 and denominator is 7. B. Whose denominator is 9 and numerator is 5. C. Whose numerator and denominator add up to 10. How many fractions of this kind can you make? D. Whose denominator is 4 more than the numerator? Give any 5. How many more can you make? 2. A fraction is given. How will you decide by just looking at it whether the fraction is A. Less than 1 B. Equal to 1 3. Fill up using one of these. Greater than, less than or equal to. A. Half dash 1 B. Three fifth dash 1 C. 1 dash 7 eighth D. 4 upon 4 dash 1 E. 2005 upon 2005 dash 1 7.5 Improper and Mixed Fractions Anakha, Ravi, Reshma and John shared their tiffin. Along with their food, they had also brought five apples. After eating the other food, the four friends wanted to eat apples. How can they share five apples among four of them? Page 139 Anag said, Let each of us have one full apple and a quarter of the fifth apple. Reshma said, That is fine, but we can also divide each of the five apples into four equal parts and take one quarter from each apple. Ravi said, in both the ways of sharing, each of us would get the same share, that is, five quarters. Since four quarters make one whole, we can also say that each of us would get one whole and one quarter. The value of each share would be five divided by four. Is it written as five divided by four? John said, yes, the same as five upon four. Reshma added, that in 5 upon 4, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. The fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator are called improper fractions. Thus, fractions like 3 upon 2, 12 upon 7, 18 upon 5 are all improper fractions. 1. Write 5 improper fractions with denominator 7. 2. Write five improper fractions with numerator 11. Ravi reminded John, What is the other way of writing the share? Does it follow from Anagha's way of dividing five apples? John nodded, Yes, it indeed follows from Anagha's way. In her way, each share is one whole and one quarter. It is one plus one upon four, and written in short as 1, 1 upon 4. Remember, 1, 1 upon 4 is the same as 5 upon 4. Also check figure 7.8. Page 140. Recall the puris eaten by Farida. She got two and half puris. Figure 7.9. That is, this is 1. This is two and half. How many shaded halves are there in two and half? There are five shaded halves. So the fraction can also be written as five upon two. Two and half is the same as five upon two. Fractions such as one, one upon four and two and half are called mixed fractions. A mixed fraction has a combination of a whole and a part. Where do you come across mixed fractions? Give some examples. Do you know? The grip sizes of tennis rackets are often in mixed numbers. For example, one size is 3 7 upon 8 inches and 4 3 upon 8 inches is another. Example 1. Express the following as mixed fractions. A. 17 upon 4 B. 
11 upon 3, C, 27 upon 5, D, 7 upon 3. Solution A, 17 upon 4. 17 divided by 4. 4 for the 16, remainder 1. That is, 4 whole and 1 fourth more, or 4 1 upon 4. B, 11 upon 3. 11 divided by 3. 3 3 is the 9, remainder 2. That is, 3 whole and 2 third more, or 3 2 upon 3. Alternatively, 11 upon 3 is equal to 9 plus 2 upon 3, equal to 9 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3, equal to 3 plus 2 upon 3, equal to 3 2 upon 3. Page 141 Try C and D using both the methods for yourself. Thus, we can express an improper fraction as a mixed fraction by dividing the numerator by denominator to obtain the quotient and the remainder. Then, the mixed fraction will be written as quotient, remainder upon divisor. Example 2. Express the following mixed fractions as improper fractions. A. 2, 3 upon 4. B. 7, 1 upon 9. C. 5, 3 upon 7. Solution. A. 2, 3 upon 4 is equal to 2 plus 3 upon 4 equal to 2 multiplied by 4 divided by 4 plus 3 upon 4 equal to 11 upon 4. B. 7, 1 upon 9 is equal to within brackets 7 multiplied by 9 plus 1 divided by 9 equal to 64 divided by 9. C. 5, 3 upon 7 is equal to within brackets 5 multiplied by 7 plus 3 divided by 7 equal to 38 upon 7. Thus, we can express a mixed fraction as an improper fraction as within brackets whole into denominator plus numerator divided by denominator. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6 Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India